What's up guys, this is the Rifleman and I am back bringing you the next episode of my Empire Total War Let's Play as Great Britain No, uh, Napoleon Total I still can't get used to saying that Napoleon Total War Let's Play as Great Britain So I've managed to beat the, also the, um, the Danish on multiple battlefields And finally they have been pushed back to Copenhagen And I am going to utterly destroy them For they have little they can do to stop me Lots of their Lots of their army is low quality militia troops, and I have got lots of artillery. So let's crack on. The assault, assault Copenhagen. Um, because I've got the artillery, I'm more inclined to uh, stand back and pound them at a distance because they've not really got the uh, capability to withstand me. At least they can't afford to sit back. Because if they do, I'll just pluck apart their defences. So let's put. So again, let's split my gun line up. So let's narrow my center a bit. Establish another gun line. Damn this weather, sir. Wet powder makes misfires a certainty. You could whine about it. Or we could just do our jobs with the British soldiers we are. There we go. Okay, just sit. It's my plan. Sit back and pound away. Oh, there's nothing within range for you. That's sad. In which case, then, let's move up. I am I am okay with... Oh, the door bells just rang. So, just one sec, guys. I will go and answer the door. Never mind. Someone else uh, got it first. But yeah, let's just slowly move up. Take it casually. We've got the advantage. Come on. There we go. Oh wow, they're actually starting to they're actually moving out, so Let's not fully move up because you've still got. And let's bring my hussars up. So, this unit of line, militia garrison, line infantry. To be honest, I might just do this. Made me feel a lot more. a lot safer. Still run because militia still. Okay, so we've got one general on the on the right. Wellesley is going to take position on the on the on the left. Beautiful looking general staff. Maybe something more like that. Mm -hmm. 
If they want to spend time relocating, then... I will aggressively push up, I suppose. There you go, we've, we've engaged, but I need to... Move up Wellesley, move up Mon General. But oh, we haven't engaged yet. Engage. Can we malish to hit them? Let's stop. And limber canister, fire at will at anything you can get your hands on. Oh, they start to charge. Oh god, I'm starting to get a bit janky here. A minute, might have to change my. Uh... Oh yeah, fair enough. They fit my guns because I've been an idiot, and too aggressive. But whatever. I think it's going to be ultimately a win for me, regardless. Our men are running for. Where? Oh, that's my guns. So let's not get too crazy with the uh, melee combat in a minute. I can deal with losing my guns because I've still got some guns safe. Guys, in pivot them around. God, I need to know who's who. Have him. Have him. I'm flying Russian style this time. Get my Highlanders in. 
There you go, my loafer there, they can just keep firing around in all directions. That's what I mean. Bit messy. Charged at my guns when I didn't really need to. Um, but, good scrap regardless. And we've captured the region, so we can always recruit and it's no longer a risk. Now let's get my general out to go try to snipe their general. My hussars, sorry, to go snipe their general. And then let's triple speed it, because... Ah, they do have a, some units over here. Yes, their infantry is recovering. We have killed their general, sir. Now they must break. So we need to do this. Advance into the town. And clear it. They're not in canister range, but they are within round shot range as these guys are currently saying not doing anything. Fire! God, one of my gunners was really not having it. They were, <laughs> they were going to chase them down. Just hope they didn't get shot to bits. Let's keep the pressure up. Okay, let's peel you guys left. goes up as reserve. Let's get the Duke of Wellington to, well, firstly, make it past these guys, halt the artillery. There you go, they're not charging, so they shouldn't kill anyone, they might knock people over, but that's about it. Chase them down. Pushing up, my light infantry should. As go, as people die, I think. Oh, my, eyes. my eyes. Let's crank this edge round. Where do we go now? In a bit more measured advance. My cavalry, you've been not very well utilised. Jog the last few steps to get into combat. So the 4th foot infantry may rout, but probably not before they do. The King's German Legion are going to focus on... The, ha, they are going to shoot the armed citizenry.
There you go, let's get my general a bit of combat experience by slaughtering the peasants. This is the only remaining fully active infantry unit. So, the 4th Regiment of Foot, you're a bit concerned, but fire. Make ready. Oh! Some of this stuff arrived. Eh, Michael Stowell. I don't have a thematic. I don't have a thematic uh, appreciation of you. In which case, then, you can just go charge the Jaegers. If it was Arthur Wellesley or John Moore, maybe. But it's not. And send in the Highlanders. As the general's dead, may as well kamikaze his unit in. Our men are running, yeah, that's fair enough. But one thing they're not going to be able to handle is the charge of the hussars. Chomp. Yep, that went just as well as I expected. There we go. Heroic victory. So at the cost of one general. Um, but yes, good victory for the British and secure. And we've managed to secure. Ooh, do we loot piece? Well, we're going to loot because they're not going to be too unhappy about it. So we have to spend some time fixing them up. But yeah, they're all replenishing. They're going to recruit some good infantry to take their place. Hey, you're still alive. Well, I'm not sure how I feel about that. Let's get some new roads. Um, but yes, this army will have to sally out and attack uh, this guy here. And then they'll have to go up and secure Norway as well. But yes, the first territory uh, on mainland Europe has been secured. Grand Opera House, what does that give you? More recruitment, possibility, plus, two, plus oh, happiness and wealth and everything. Lots of good stuff. And then let's fix Bristol, which will take two turns, unfortunately. 1600, so we are making a bit of profit. Let's get Nelson and the leftovers of his fleet. Over into here. In terms of investment, probably upgrade more ports, I suppose. Ports ports are always good. I mean, they take a long time to uh, to get going, but... See, lots of merchantmen. See, Nelson would like... Nelson would very much like to chase down this army. This navy, sorry. Lots of merchants that I could spend and send all over my empire. That would be good. The Battle of Denmark. September 1805. There we go. They're paying me 785 for the privilege, and yet they're a bit knackered with devastation by armies, but it's hit and turn. And let's see what happens. Oh, God, the French. The French have secured Vienna. Holy moly. Well, I'm glad I wasn't... I didn't need to be overly concerned about the French actually, you know, expanding. Because <laughs> at some point I'm probably going to have the French attack, uh, laying, starting to... You want an alliance? Break trade agreement with Sweden. No, why would I do that? We're both very friendly. We don't need the alliance. We're both at war with everyone anyway. The only person... No, I'm at war with all of your enemies. So there's no point in me... I'm not being dragged into any wars. You're just a bit grumpy at Sweden, so no. I don't want to annoy Sweden just yet. Oh, yeah, they're going to go after my trade fleet. Fair enough. Trade fleets are cheap. Just auto-resolve it. Hey, we sank two of their ships. Okay. 
the rain. We'll send Nelson after him. Oh, wow. That's so effective. You did so much good there, guys. But yes, I want to repair Denmark, destroy the army that I've got sat there on the mainland. In you go. Ooh, I forgot. I've got the, the Swedish one now. So let's go for... Don't fire in advance. Don't bother with carronade. Bottling and canning. Let's reduce upkeep of my navy. So then we've got... Let's get manufacturing at Birmingham. What small arms factory giving me? Lots of recruitment costs. Very cheap to recruit guys in London. Commercial port in Bristol. Ordnance factory in London, which gives me new uh, horse artillery choices. British and Dutch light dragoons. Cool. See, it's in, yeah, so Bristol's going to be fixed in a turn. Oh, Calais has expanded. Let's take you over here to Brest. Well, actually, let's sit here. Let's see if they are actually going to recruit anything. They aren't, but I'm at least going to send their navy, force the navy to do something. Um, ooh, there's the, the Ottomans. So I think they're going to they try to head north to uh, to attack me. Probably. So let's get some merchantmen on the go to replace the ones that were lost. And let's get a fifth rate. Because then this fifth, I can start to rebuild um, the navy on George Elphinstone. These guys are replenishing slowly, very slowly. So what have I got here? Classic University, a market. I'm probably going to want to knock that down and replace it with a uh, musket manufactory. Unit recruited. I've got a third ray. Ooh. Put you into Nelson's fleet. Let's send you at. Sort of resolve against the Ottomans because I've got a feeling they're going to go north and interfere with my shipping up here. I lost a ship, really? It was my third rate, which I just bought. Really? Really? And let's go fight. Oh, they withdrew. Fair enough. Uh, let's put them into Waterford for repairs and it keeps them close to the uh, trade zones cool okay so the next turn my money problems well next turn this will be fixed and then my money problems will be fixed cool and then once this army replenishes a bit now they're in hostile territory so they will not be replenishing cool in turn yeah, Copenhagen will be fixed um, I can then move on and destroy that army. Then I can go take Norway. Ooh. Here come the French again with their tricks. So I might have to sail Nelson down to go intercept those French ships. If I can go up and take, yeah, take Norway, knocks out the Danes. Good, the Danes are full on retreat. They are getting out of dodge. The Ottomans are still just bobbing around in the, in the med. Good. I am not your enemy, Denmark. I am your friend. I mean, granted, I did burn all your stuff down and generally caused you to have a bit of a torrid time. Okay, so now will my money problem be solved? Ten grand, ten. Good. And then let's recruit a third rate to replace the one that got lost. Like cavalry, yeah. So yeah, these are. So I might yeah do that now actually. Mark for dismantling because right now replenishment here isn't great, but it could be something to do with these guys not being. I don't know. Maybe. Hmm. I might build a fort in round Copenhagen because uh, that's going to be a French target as they expand eastward. Oh, I forgot to intercept that. Oh God! Speak of the devils.
What is it with you not wanting to me to trade with anyone else, Prussia? Are you worry that you, you get becoming a, a jealous, a jealous husband? You want me to only be loyal to you? Yeah, once I've got Wellesley secure in Copenhagen. And once I've got, once I've knocked Denmark out of the game, I can then send, do I, do I send someone to go take Gibraltar and push up through the south and knock out Spain? I think I do. So yeah, great estates, Ireland, good. Infrastructure roads. All right, let's build a road. Great arsenal, nine pounders. Core of an army of the can on campaign. Cannons win battles. They certainly do. It's 8,000 to build a fort. Can't build a court of justice. Can't build a drill school that would get me rifles. Ordnance factory. Not a priority. Um, foot artillery. It does just well for me. Good. Our replenishment rate has increased. So let's build couple of units of line to sit in here as a garrison as they move out to destroy this army. And then ultimately I think I need to recruit some well, British Fusiliers. Stick with some bog standard line for now because I want this to be the core of the army that goes under uh, Michael Stowell who should be dead and go and take Gibraltar. I don't want to build anything here now because the French are right here. Well, actually, I might knock down that. Build a supply post. Because I wager um, I will need it in the coming turns. Hmm. Good. Their armies peel back. Really? What I sh if I'm smart, I'd reinforce Copenhagen and put. Arthur Wellesley on the bridge have him defend the bottleneck um, rather than letting them in that's what we should do yeah strengthen strengthen Copenhagen send Michael Stowell probably first actually go secure Norway good poverty control laws so let's get you on to conscription, because people are going to be not as unhappy about it now. Let's start unlocking some of these advanced military buildings. Okay, so let's take you all. Less the general and some of my most depleted units. Well, actually, looking at the timer, it looks, it looks like I'm going to end the par fairly soon. You won't see this battle, so I'll move them out. No, I'll, I'll move them out so that you guys know that that's what I'm going to do. Um, I pick now to build forts because it takes a bit of time. Fifth rate, Entreprise. It literally is Entreprise, <laughs> Zed. Steam dry duck. Can't recruit it. So I want to get some ooh, do I get a 98 gun second rate. I think I do. Start to boost Nelson's navy again after it got gutted. But yeah, this army. Well, when it comes back, I'll divvy up the units between. Oh, do we do it now? Well, I don't do it now because I don't have the ships. If I recruit a small ship, I can sail up to Norway. Unless I do... Open. Uh, oh, no, I can't um, demand they become a protectorate, so I'm not going to. Yeah, if I take Norway, it won't be a biggie. It opens up a land border with Sweden, but I've already got one of those. But yeah, this is kind of why I need to be most careful about maintaining my alliance with Sweden, because obviously France is the big, the big beastie. Um, but I don't want to do anything that's too dangerous to inflame the Swedes just yet. But yeah, let's get on and attack the farmland.
Oh, they withdrew. <laughs> okay. Okay. Wasn't expecting that, but that's fair enough. Yeah, so started recruiting some line in Den in England and then in Denmark. Got a university, so our research and tech is now on par with the Swedes, and we're about to get a bottling and canning, which will open up joint stock companies. Very powerful, plus ten per town wealth. Banking house. Hmm, interesting. Let's hit end turn. So the French are pushing down into Austria. Is that a unique, a new state that's arisen on the map? Is that Saxony that's from a, from a rebellion with the Prussians has formed? Or has it always been there? Uh, no. Right now I have no reason to be at war. I have no reason to bring them into war. I don't want them involved in the Denmark conflict. Spain is much of a muchness. I don't. They can't really do much. And the Batavian Republic. You know, France is in the way. I mean, they're, granted they're next door, but all that might do is give the uh, the Dutch a chance to expand towards um, the towards the east, which is obviously not something I want. Why would I want them to be stronger? Well, the Prussians are getting involved. Ban, wait, my Sweden... I need to maintain my alliances. I can't let my reputation go down the tubes like I normally do. rebellion against you. Acquiescence at this stage could lead to further demand. So what have we got? Well, let's get a bit of... Let's do a bit of that, just to add a bit of a uh, bit of a garrison to them. Eventually they'll, they'll like me more and more next turn. And as my armies replenish... Let's make sure I'm not doing anything silly. Manufactory, factory, plus 500 to, to region wealth. Yes, please. To be honest, I might just do the, do the wealth route for this as well, because I'm not... Recruitment in Cardiff isn't a biggie. I mean, London and Scotland are going to be where I'm be doing most of my recruitment, so... So, what, so I've got... You're being... You're under repair at the minute. Well, you should be. Maybe I run out of money. Third rate. Get you under there. And also, get my merchants back on the cotton spot. Let's get a merchant. Wait, is it cheaper to recruit merchantmen in Liverpool? 600. No, it must have just got a bit more expensive. Yeah, Muni recruited, you're taken care of. Building, constructed, equestrian estate. London is growing handsomely, which is exactly what I want. Move this guy in against Torsten Dallum. What? You can't just... What? 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 What is that? Did you... What is that? What is that? Okay. Uh, uh, here you go. Whoa, God, that's so annoying. Here, have this. Oh, that's so frustrating. That army's strong enough to take Copenhagen. Um, unless... No, you're too far away. You're too far away. So my only hope would be to sail a ship into the strait to stop them from being able to cross it. God, that's so annoying. Why did they? Why could they do that? Oh, right. Let's. Okay, let's hit enter and so you guys can see this this frustrating event happen right now. Right. French blockading me. Fair enough. I've not been keeping a. Uh, Keeping tabs on their forces. The Prussians have been destroyed in Central Europe. Watch the uh, the Danes recapture Denmark. 
Oh, because the... Why? Why did the game do that? I moved up, I had movement points, and I had them penned in on a peninsula, and the game just decided to screw me over and make them run around me. No, they didn't. They didn't. Okay. Well, let's kill them. Let's kill them again! Good. So we're actually going to fight this just to make sure we kill them, but that's going to happen next turn. So, well, the next turn, the next part. So thanks for watching, guys. Thankfully, you didn't take Copenhagen, and I will see you next time.